Come on, quick. Come on. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Keep his head up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J, and we have a really exciting episode in store for you guys today. Recently, we went fishing over by at a nearby dam. We had a lot of recent rain, and they opened a few gates up. We were just going over there to check it out and see what was going on. We weren't really planning on doing a lot of filming. We were just curious and see what the water was like. But when we got over there, we realized very quickly that there was a lot of monster giant fish lurking in the little swirling eddies below us. And uh, we had, you know, a little bit of gear on us, so we made the best of what we had and uh, tried to tackle some of these giant fish. It was crazy. It was real crazy. It was really crazy. Like, we were not expecting it. But we're about to roll the footage. It was a little hectic and the water was a little loud, but I think that you are really going to enjoy this video. So let's go. It's a little stupid hook. That's why. Yep, I'm telling you, that's why I'm freaking out. That's a better hook, too. I got a big one. I got him, man. Heads up! I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear him out a little bit longer. All right, I'm gonna slide him right there where your feet are, sir. There's the beast. I just caught top this dam. Unfortunately, whenever I went down there to land it, a uh, gentleman helped me out and he, act, he accidentally gill grabbed it. And uh, you can't really do that with these big fish and it destroys them. This one's been bleeding pretty bad and I don't think it's gonna live. So I think that what Jay and I are going to do, we're gonna take this opportunity, we're gonna take this fish home and uh, we're actually gonna cook it today. A lot of you guys in the comment section are like, y'all should eat that buffalo y'all catch. So we're gonna give it a try. We never, neither one of us ever eaten it before. So unfortunately, I wish I could let this fish go, but uh, we're gonna take it home and put it to good use. Jay's got a monster. Jay's got an absolute monster. Look at him down there. Oh my gosh, he's huge. I want him. I want him. You're good. I want him.
Big old buffalo up top of the dam, that's how you do it. Woo. No, we got that one we're gonna eat, so I'm gonna put him back in the water so we can get big and fight another day. Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh. You're gonna get him in a second, I think. Might swap to the other hook. Huh? Might swap to the other single hook, maybe. I don't know. Just gotta get it in him. I believe in you. There he is. Hold on to him. Hold on to him, Jay. Oh my god. Okay. Get him up. Okay, go to the right. Go around. Got him. Jay's got him. Oh, she had him. What is it? Okay, we're gonna try to get him. We're gonna try to land this fish. Here we go. Head up. Head up. Head up. Don't break my rod though. Head up. There you go. Come on. Come on quick. Come on quick. Come on. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Keep his head up. Come on, Jay. Woo! Why can I not catch one? <laughs> oh, too much torque on that. That's a giant one too, that's a huge one. It's like probably almost 50 pounds. Yeah, I was so determined to catch the fish. Our camera just died. Cole's been video me trying to catch one for hours. My arms are shaking, but I'm gonna let this fish go. So glad I caught him. Okay, are you gonna help me? I'm coming back. I'm gonna take dog on I think she really wants to let it go. We'll see, if he, we'll see if he recovers. Yeah, if he's not good, then I'll give him to you. Alright, I'm about to send him back.
We just made it back home when we got our buffalo here. I've got it on my cutting board and we're fixing to clean this fish and prepare it for the table. So this is my first time cleaning buffalo. I've cleaned carp and I've cleaned drum, but this is my first time cleaning buffalo and I'm gonna clean them about the same way. So what I understand about buffalo is that they're loaded with bones and there's basically this little quadrant here in the middle from like the anal fin to right behind the pectoral fin. Like there's this little triangular, triangular area here and it's full of bones. We're gonna investigate all this. Basically, we're gonna try to take this middle section out. We're gonna get the ribs. We're gonna clean the meat behind the ribs and we're gonna keep the rib section and we're gonna eat the meat between the ribs. That's the goal to this cleaning process. I think I can do a pretty good job using an electric fillet knife for the, with this, but since this is my first buffalo, I'm gonna clean it with a trusty hand fillet knife. I also brought these. I don't have any like really good shears, but these are little, little sharp tips right here I might use to cut through a couple of the rib bones. We're just gonna see what happens, but we're gonna cut it open here. Anyways, let's go on ahead and make our first cut behind the pectoral fin. And like I said, I'm gonna go straight. We're kinda gonna box it up, just like this. So as you can see, I'm just working the meat, kind of like you would fillet any like regular fish, just kind of like filleting over the ribs. I'm gonna trim this meat right here and pull it off also, just once I get back to it. Not too bad, right? No. Got a rack of meat here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that meat off. Just to make sure what we're working with. So we'll be able to do a better job on the other side. Okay, so here's the lateral line area right here. I'm going to cut that in half. Okay, so this, this piece of meat right here is the top part of this little filet right here. This is the meat behind the ribs, and it's like pretty much boneless. We still have the ribs right here inside the buffalo. I'm gonna cut those out with these little shears. So what I'm learning is that the top part, like I just said, the top part of that filet is really bony. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. We're gonna, just gonna take this piece of meat back inside, and we're gonna trim it up and figure out what we're gonna do with that. Like I said, we're not positive just yet. But this, this is pretty much bone free. And uh, it's got some red meat on this side. We're gonna trim this little silver skin and red meat off. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. We'll cut that into like little pieces of meat, little strips to fry. But I think that's the way to go, the meat behind the ribs. Okay, this is the meat, like I said, this is the meat that was just came over the top of the ribs. It's pretty much boneless from what I can tell. I trimmed off all the red meat, just about gotta get that little piece right there and a little bit of that silver skin off. This is the top part, like upper portion of the back and it's full of bones. I think that a lot of people like to grind that up and make like fish patties. Maybe we can figure out a way to do that, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna cut the rib section out of this buffalo here because there's meat between the ribs and it's supposed to be really good. So let's get that out and then we're gonna flip it over to the other side and then we'll show you guys, you know, the finished product in the kitchen all trimmed up and nice and then we're gonna cook and fry it up. Should be really good and delicious. I sure hope so at least. All right guys, we're doing it. We're cooking the buffalo fillets. You ready to eat, Jay? I think so. Nick, you ready to eat? <laughs> So what I've got going on here, this is actually the piece of meat that I showed y'all that I cut over and around the ribs. It's that piece of meat that had no bones in it. That's the one we're gonna be cooking today. And you can see that I've diced into these little strips right here. Looks tastes like little buffalo, fried, fried buffalo fingers. That's what we're gonna call this, fried buffalo fingers. And what we have going on here, I have some more in the bag that I've already gotten there. It's just a basic cornmeal and flour mix. I got it seasoned up with some Slappy Mama. And it's gonna be delish. I can feel it. She can feel it. Can you feel it? A little bit. A little bit. I'm a little nervous. I've got the fried Eddie all the way up to 375 and uh, it's about ready to go. So I'm gonna shake this up and we're gonna get to cooking. That's what I'm talking about, shake it. 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we got the first batch completed and it has a striking resemblance to Burger King chicken fries. Hopefully it'll taste like chicken fries. That'd be awesome. We got some more going on here in the deep fryer. Those are almost done. And then we're gonna throw some french fries in there. Just as jacked about some french fries. Are those extra crispy french fries? What kind of french yes. fries we got? Extra crispy. Extra crispy? Let's see. Because we're extra. We're extra right now. <laughs> I'm extra hungry. I need some fuel. We're about to, we're actually fixing to go harping. So this is like our harping fuel. We're getting some much needed warm food in our bellies. And it looks delicious. Look at that guys. Hopefully it's yummy. Yeah. Everyone says they're yummy. And if they're not yummy, I'm gonna be mad at every one of you guys that said the buffalo is delicious. I'm actually not really excited about this. Why? I don't know, I'm kind of nervous about it. I think, I, you're, I think you're mainly sad about eating a buffalo. Yeah, I don't really like the thought of eating a buffalo, but I just feel like it's not gonna taste that good. I think it is. But I've got faith. We'll see. I'm just happy that that piece of meat is boneless because all the other stuff we <laughs> I cut out of that fish was like full of bones. Okay, here goes nothing, I'm digging in. Can't I wait any longer. Like we got the fries going, but I have to go on ahead and get a bite of this. You got your piece? Mm-hmm. Ready to see what it tastes like Burger King? <laughs> okay, it's not gonna taste like Burger King. Okay. It does, it does look like, legit look like a chicken fry from Burger King. It really Comment below if you think this looks like a chicken fry from Burger King. I think it looks just like one. You could fool somebody into eating a piece of chicken. Like saying it's a, a chicken stick. <laughs> or, I don't know what you'd say it was. But anyways, let's go for it. You ready? Three, two, one. What? <laughs> are, you, are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? It's that good. It's just like chicken. It's good, guys. I'm not sure if it's like that. Yeah, no, it was kind of weird. I just stood up like that. I was sitting down like that. <laughs> Let me come back down. Um, guys. Oh my word. I'm not sure what I did. I think I did something right because it, <laughs> it tastes good. Number one, it tastes good, and number two, it kind of tastes like chicken. Maybe because we're thinking about it. Maybe because it looks like chicken. Is that, that happens sometimes when you have something that looks like something and then you eat it and it tastes like the yeah, thing that you're this, thinking of? Yeah, but this legit tastes like fish. I mean, this this legit tastes like chicken. It kind of tastes like flathead catfish. You know, a flathead catfish kind of tastes mm -hmm. like chicken when you cut it up. Yeah, that's weird. It's okay. good. It's good. It's salty. I got the slappy mama on there. Got a little spice to it. Dude, I was all we not need. expecting this. Oh, it's good. I mean, it's not a whole lot of it's not a whole lot of meat, but the, for that chunk of meat right there, that's awesome. It's worth it. It's good. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love it. I really love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh it. Oh my gosh, I love it! What? You know about it. I can't love buffalo. We're gonna go snagging again. I can't start, sn start <laughs> snagging on these buffalo. It makes, me, it makes me a little bit more excited about eating the ribs. We'll have to do that in another video or something, eating the ribs and then we have that piece of back strap, but that's not back strap, but it's like that back upper portion of the filet. It's really full of bones. You say that what you need to do is grind that up and make like a fish patty out of it. I don't think we have, we don't have a grinder. I don't know if we have access to one, but it sounds like it's a good fish to eat. It's good. I love it. It's just dang good. Really dang good. <laughs> it's real dang good. What the heck? Okay, anyways, guys, we're gonna we're gonna chill for a minute. We're gonna eat this and uh, we're gonna fuel up. I have to kind of keep back just off it. She's like wanting to dig in and eat it all. I've already and, eaten three pieces. And uh, we'll touch base with you guys in just a moment. Well, folks, we're down to the very last piece of buffalo. And now we're down to zero pieces because Jada snatched it up. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> she won the last piece. She's really, really enjoying it. As much as she didn't want to like it, she loves it. I love it. It's this so is good. awesome. Yep. I mean, you can see we definitely tore into those uh, little pieces of buffalo and uh, kind of let those fries hang and we're going to finish this up too. But what we're wanting to do right now is just give our full opinion, our full rundown, the whole entire analysis of the buffalo that we just ate. So first off, the meat was white, it was flaky, it's big flakes. That's what those strips were like where I cut the big flakes and uh, it was delicious. It was really, really good. I think that the, the breading was good also. I think mm -hmm. I mixed up a good, a good mix of uh, cornmeal and flour and slappy mama and salt. It was just, it was just really good. <laughs> So that complemented the flavor of the fish itself. But overall, was it worth it for us to keep and eat this fish? Mm. Mm, we're not really sure. Just because like that piece of meat, it's not a huge piece of meat. Maybe if it's a larger fish, you know, it's gonna be a bigger piece of meat behind those ribs. It's gonna be boneless and be really flaky and delicious like that. We both like to catch these fish. We like to, we like to see them released back into the water. But in the event that if you were, or if we already catch one again, and for some reason we kill it or injure it, 
it's worth eating. It. It's yeah, good. For sure. It's good. And especially like for those that, I mean, we've seen, we, unfortunately, we've seen a lot of times where guys will go out and bow fish and just like shoot one and throw it on the bank. That makes me so mad. It makes Jessica really mad. It makes me really mad too. It's not really a very sportsman like thing at all. Like, we really do not approve of that sort of behavior. So, like, if you are someone that maybe has done that in the past, or just doesn't think that they're good, think they're just a trash fish, maybe you should give this a try because mm -hmm. it really is delicious. Like, it's really good, like, really surprisingly good. Like, I'm kind of freaking out, really, <laughs> how good that really was. So, thanks to everybody that recommended that we try to eat this fish. You know, it's always been, like, kind of a bucket list fish for me to eat, and I didn't really doubt it that much, but I just didn't really want to, but... It was good. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was actually super hard to film the catching part. Yeah, for some reason. We just weren't on our A game today. We like didn't have our all of our batteries charged up yeah. and there were people everywhere and then the was water crazy. was really the water loud. Was so loud. It was just you saw it on you saw yeah. like my catch on my camera. It was mayhem. <laughs> it was just crazy. But anyways, we hope you still enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future outdoor adventures. We're, we're Cole and Jay, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.